All right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another achievement guide in Human Fall Flat. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get all four of the achievements worth a total of 120 gamer score in the new thermal level. And we're going to be doing it all in one single run. Now I had a little bit of trouble finding the thermal map from the menus. So just when you're on the dream selection screen, go ahead and go down to extra dreams and then pick thermal. It should be the only one in there. The first achievement that we're going to be getting is Hook, Line, and Jumper worth 40 gamer score, but it's going to take us a second to get there. So we're going to start off the level by walking into this hut just in front of us, and inside you'll find a black board. Go ahead and take this board out of the hut and bring it back to where we just were. If we follow the path a little ways, you'll notice that there's a cliff and we'll need to place the board across it. This part's a little bit tricky, but just hold down the board into the snow and then push it across the gap slowly. And once you feel like it's secure, just go ahead and jump across. Keep making your way down the path and then there's a gap that you'll need to jump. And then we're going to walk along this frozen river until we find two platforms with a rope at the end. So jump on each of the platforms and hold your arms straight up before you jump at the rope. I found myself missing this one quite a bit. And once Bob has caught the rope, go ahead and swing back and forth until you have enough momentum to get to the other side of the frozen river. Once on the other side, just climb up the next two steps, and then we're going to head into this cave. Once in the cave, you're going to find another little hut. Go inside and you'll find a bookcase. Slide that to the right, that way we have a path through the house. But before we make our way through the rest of the house, we want to close this window by knocking out that metal beam. I found it best to just kind of grab it from the bottom with both hands and lift up and back. Once that window is shut, we can continue through the next door and make our way through the cave until we find an ice wall with two torches and two boxes. Set up one of the boxes so that you can climb on top and grab one of the torches. And once you have one of the torches, just drop back down onto the path we were just on. We're going to take this torch back to the house that we were just in and put it in the furnace to light it. And this is why we had to close the window earlier because the wind coming through would extinguish the torch every single time. Now that the torch is lit, follow back up the same path to the ice wall. And once you are there, just put the torch on the campfire and it will set it ablaze, melting the ice wall and allowing you to pass through. On the other side, there will be another gap that you need to jump, and then you'll see this really, really short tunnel. Now, this is where our achievements start. So like I said, the first one that we're going to be going for is Hook, Line, and Jumper, worth 40 gamer score, and we need to enter the compound in Thermal without passing through the main gate. So the normal way that you would do this is by rolling a snowball from the top of this mountain, down a windy path in the middle, and it'll bust the doors open on the compound. But the way that we're going to do it, we're going to head over to the right section over here and turn this crank until the platform is at the top. Once it's all the way up and you can't turn it anymore, we're just going to run across it with our arms up, jump off, and then catch yourself on the balcony of the house just in front of you. Now we're going to open up this blue door, take one of the hooks and just fall off the balcony, but make sure you don't fall off the level. So now we're just going to take one of these hooks back up the stairs to where we just were. And once we get about three quarters of the way up, you'll find a gap in the stairs. Just set the hook down, jump to the other side, and then re-grab the hook, and then you're all good. Now we're going to carry the hook all the way over to the other side of this starting area, and you'll notice there's a little latch on the ceiling of this wooden structure. So we're going to grab the hook and pull the latch, and it will deploy some stairs. Make sure that you continue to take your hook with you. We will still need it, but head up those stairs. You'll come across a platform with some gaps in it. Just make sure you jump across them. I like doing this sideways. That way I have a nice clear shot at them. And then once across, we're going to make our way to the other side of the house. And now here's where things get a little bit tricky. You'll need to set your hook down and grab it from the very end so that you can hook it onto the cable above you. Now, once you've made sure that the cable is hooked, make sure that you keep holding on, but don't jump off the balcony. Just walk off nice and smooth. That way the hook doesn't come loose. And then you should swing smoothly over to the roof of the next house. From here, we just need to jump off the roof onto the rock spire just in front of the compound. Back up to the peak of the roof and face the rock spire. Now all you need to do is run and jump across to it, but make sure you don't slip off the roof. Then just climb the large rock steps and then we need to jump into this window in front of us. Now just make your way to the outside from either the top or bottom door, it doesn't really matter. And once you are on the ground, that should be the achievement unlocked. The next achievement that we're going to be looking for is called Amped, worth 40 gamer score, 
and we just need to attach all the electrical cables in 35 seconds or less. So once you have made it into the large room with the drill in the middle, we're just gonna jump down into the middle pit. Just ignore the yellow wire for now and climb up the ledge on the other side. From here, you're gonna wanna take this box with you and take it over to the red house. Climb up the steps and then place the box so that you can jump from it onto the roof of the red house. Once on top of the roof, you will find the green wire. Go ahead and just shove it off, we'll get it later. Now from where we just jumped up, jump back off the house and go through the doorway. Inside the house, you'll find a blue wire. Go ahead and take that with you. We're just gonna put it right next to the yellow wire over here. Go ahead and jump back up the same ledge we were just on, and we're gonna go back and grab our box. Now we're just going to push this ramp over and then take our box to the other end of it and place it smooth side up. The reason for this is that you're going to have your hands full of wires and you won't be able to climb. So the ramp allows you to jump onto the smooth part of the box without using your hands. And the box allows you to jump on the next ledge without using your hands. Next, we're just going to take the yellow and blue wire up the set of smooth stairs. And our first door on the left, we're going to open and bring the wires inside. In this room, you'll also find a red wire. We're just gonna leave it there for now so that we can go back and get our green wire. Grab the green wire from the bottom of the ramp and bring it back up into the room with all the other wires. Now, once we have all the wires in the one room, you're gonna wanna set them up so that the ends are close by to where we're gonna plug them in on the terminal. So now that we have all the wires close by and set up, we're gonna grab our first wire and plug it in and now is where the timer starts. So we have 35 seconds to plug in all of these wires, which is honestly a pretty generous amount of time, but if you do fail, you will have to reload the checkpoint and gather all the wires again. Now just make sure all the colors line up. I understand that the yellow and green ones look very, very similar, so they can be confusing. And if you have plugged in the last wire within 35 seconds of plugging in the first one, you will unlock the amped achievement. All right, now moving on to our last two achievements. We have wrapped up complete thermal and payday. Complete thermal while holding a gold bar. So now we're just gonna play the level like normal right up until we get to the very end. So the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is grab the gold nugget from the minecart on the tracks. Then we're gonna take it over to this elevator which now should be working since we plugged in all the wires. Press the button to go up, and you'll be standing on a conveyor belt with a glass window to the left. Make sure the conveyor belt doesn't take you too far, and then smash the window with the gold nugget. Climb through into the room, and you should find a control panel in front of you with a lever. Now just pull down on the lever, and then you can exit the room the same way that we came in. Pulling the lever in the control room lifted the drill out of the floor, and has made a little hole for us to go into the next area. Climb through the hole, and you'll find yourself in a tunnel filled with gold ore. And then you'll come into a room with some vents on the ground. Walk straight over to the one at the far end of the room, take the rock off of it, and then we're going to place the rock on either of the other vents. This will block up that vent and create pressure in the ones that are open, allowing them to push us higher up. So once the rock is on one of the other vents, go back to the vent that we just took it from and stand on top of it. This will push you up onto a platform, and from here just climb up the ledge. And then you should see a path of platforms with a rock at the end of it. But be careful because these platforms will wave back and forth as you jump across them. And once you are on the other side, go ahead and grab the rock and then just go right back. This part can be a little bit frustrating because with the rock in both of your hands, you won't be able to grab onto and climb up any of the ledges. So just take it slow, wait for Bob to settle down as well as the platforms in front of you. And once you have this rock all the way back into the main room with all the vents, we're gonna use this rock to cover the vent that we just used. And now we're gonna make our way over to the vent that is still uncovered. Stand on it and it will throw you onto a ledge. Once on the ledge, we're gonna run and jump to the next one, and we have one more in front of us attached to the wall. Run and jump onto that one as well. 
Now we're going to turn around and take a look at the platform in the middle and also run and jump onto it. Next we have a rectangular platform. Go ahead and jump on it and stand to the back side of it. This will tilt the side that you're standing on down and raise the other end up. Now we quickly need to run and jump across the gap to the next ledge. And once we're on top of this ledge, we're just going to jump down into the next room where we see another vent. You'll also notice that there's another rock on top of the spire in the middle of this room. We'll need to grab that. So stand on the vent and it will throw you towards the rock. Grab the rock and then just cover the vent that we just used. Now we're just going to climb over one of these ledges to get into the original room. But once again, be careful, there is a gap just under you. Now we're going to be using the vent that we first covered up originally. So take the rock off and put it on the vent that got us up onto the high ledge. Now stand on this last vent and it will throw you up onto yet another ledge. Climb up the steps and then remove the rocks from the tunnel in front of you. And once you are over to the other side with the train tracks, you'll see a rope with a ring attached to it. Grab the rope and we're going to take it over to this minecart that's on the tracks. On the opposite side of it, there's a hook. And we'll need to put the ring of the rope around this hook. So once you have made sure that the rope is securely attached, grab the other end of it. And then we're just going to fall off this ledge with the broken track. Just make sure that you keep holding onto the rope. From here, we're just going to swing onto the next platform in the side of the mountain. Once across, make sure you hug the wall tight so that you don't fall off, and jump across to the other platforms. Eventually, you'll come across a frozen waterfall. Hold your arms out and jump across. It is a little bit slippery, so make sure that you jump to the next ledge after that very quickly. All right, now once you see a couple of roots hanging down from the ceiling, grab onto the first one and swing over to the second. Once you're on the second route, you're just going to swing across to the next platform, where you should see a small hut and a green sign that indicates the end of the level. And this is where our last two achievements come into play. So inside the hut, once you walk across the floor, it will fall out from underneath you and the level will finish. So obviously we're going to complete the wrapped up achievement just for completing the level, but if you want to get the payday achievement as well, we need to be holding a gold bar which is on the other side of the room. So open the door to the hut and carefully hug the wall to either the left or right side. Hold on to the wall and walk into the middle to have the floor fall out from underneath you. Now let go of the wall and we're going to jump to the other side. And once we are on the other side with the gold bars, just grab one of them and fall down the hole to complete the level and earn two additional achievements. One for completing the level thermal and another for completing thermal while holding a gold bar. All right, well, that is going to pretty much do it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Down below, hit that little bell notification so that you get notified whenever I go live or post a new video. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.